Alright, so we are at Enlightened Canberra. We're about to um, enjoy some of the festivities that are happening here. But one of my favorite things is that they have this awesome little setup, um, Bent's Boat Brewing. Um, they have a nice little bar. It's like a beautiful beer garden in front of Old Parliament House. So um, yeah, it's just a great place to come. Uh, Enlighten will be um, happening until mid-March. So there'll be a lot of things to see and do. A lot of nice, delicious food to eat as well. But for now, we are gonna enjoy a nice Friday afternoon beverage. I've got the uh, Sprocket and Cindy's got the... Uh, Cluster 8. Exactly, and we are going to enjoy these beers, guys. Let's do it. Cheers. Tell me about the beer that you just tried. This is my favorite. Cluster what 8. What makes it special, Cindy? It tastes like not very sour. Is tastes like coffee and a bit strong so it only comes from one side it's cute right it's brilliant yeah i like the dark color Alright Richard, tell us a bit about uh, the setup this year for Enlighten. This is our third year we've been here at Enlighten and each year we try and get more involved with the actual Enlighten part of it and that is lighting up all the uh, you know famous buildings around Canberra and we've done it this year we've uh, created all these great um, neon illuminations and uh, our, incorporated them into our beer garden and people can come in and sit down, there's great mood lighting, it's nice comfortable spaces here. Um, we're launching a new beer tonight as well, we've got our bushfire relief beer on. So so um, we've got a few things going on, and uh, it's a you know it's like creating a pub, you know, an external pub, so to speak. So we've um, you know 228 pallets have gone into this, and um, you know a lot of malt bags, a lot of um, plants. So we're, we're really heavy with our recycling too. So we're recycling all our cups. Um, we've got um, a plan to. Um, you know, really look at our sustainability at Ben Spoke, and this is the start. We go through 15,000 of these cups every night, and we're looking at recycling every one of them. So these cans up here, I mean, these are our flagship beers. We've got the Barley Griffin and we've got the Crankshaft. Um, you know, we're all about bending the rules and bending our spokes. So we've got a little wheel over here with the bending spoke. Um, we've got our signature sort of saying over here, bend the rules of beer. Um, and down here we've got this beautiful little bike sitting down here where you can actually go and um, have your picture taken um, on the bike. So yeah, let's go and do that. It's about doing something a bit different with, with lighting. It's about a night event. Um, we're surrounded by these, you know, obviously famous buildings, and we want to contribute something special to to this, you know, this precinct. Yeah, so this is the uh, the bent shovel Belgian blonde. Um, came up with the idea after travelling through Europe and uh, absolutely loved the uh, the Belgian flavours, and just couldn't find a good Belgian blonde on tap here. So spoke with uh, Rich Watkins from uh, Bent Spoke, and we came up with the recipe and we brewed it up at the Malt Shovel Brewery uh, about three weeks ago, and uh, yeah, being launched tonight at. Uh, and light. We always try and do things a little bit differently, so we're making this bent shovel now um, every year. I mean, I started out my brewing career at the Malt Shovel Brewery. It was formerly the Hahn Brewery um, in Sydney, so it's really great to get back there and uh, work with Rich and the team and create a, a different beer each time. Uh, the first beer we did was a real multi amber ale, and this time we've done a Belgian blonde ale. So really, um, you know, a style that's probably not brewed all that often around, certainly around Australia. So it's really good to to pick a style that's. Um, you know, that's a, that's a, we can showcase some really good flavours. So the flavour, it's a, it's more of a yeast flavour driven beer as opposed to a hoppy malty type beer. So the flavour in the beer is, uh, it's more sort of cloves and bubblegum, a little bit of banana um, as opposed to like heavy hop flavour. Delicious, delicious beer from Ben Spoke and also um, some awesome fried chicken from 
Squeeze it's monkey. monkey, exactly. And uh, beer and chicken, if you don't already know, they are a match made in heaven. It is the most delicious thing you can ever consume. Cheers! Good to the last drop. Very excited for the illumination. It's done at 8 o'clock. I knew you were as well.